watching WMBD This Morning. Welcome back. Living a healthy life comes in all different forms, but one in particular isn't exactly a choice. Dealing with food allergies can be difficult to navigate. On this edition of Hertig's Healthy Hacks, Sheridan Hertig speaks with a food allergy mom to share how she works with her kid to make sure she's safe. Take a look. There are nine major food allergens, milk, egg, peanut, tree nuts, wheat, soy, fish, shellfish, and sesame. 33 million Americans have food allergies, including 5.6 million children under age 18. That equates to one to two kids in every classroom will have a food allergy now. Lindsay Spangler, who's a food allergy mom and family nurse practitioner for OSF, has had to adjust her eating lifestyle along with her husband. So with my daughter with eggs, um, our household prior to that was a big egg household. We loved it. And then of course when your child has that food allergy, you'll do whatever you can to make them safe. Finding out your kid has an allergy can be a scary process, but there are ways to test those allergies in a controlled environment. When you do give your child a um, food that is a high allergen, you kind of do a waiting period of three days. So you just give them say peanuts or a little peanut butter nothing else. So then if they do have a reaction, you know it was just to that. And while there are plenty of tests and resources out there, you can never 100% protect your child. Some schools are, are understanding, but I don't think they have the big picture. Some schools are peanut free, which is great, but there's also the top nine allergens. Spangler works with a nonprofit that works to educate schools and families about allergies and provides them with resources to learn more. They even just created the first Peoria chapter, Red Sneakers for Food Allergy Awareness. FAIR, the Food Allergy and Research and Education they are a great nonprofit. They have good resources on that website. And then Red Sneakers for Oakley is an organization that we're working closely with. And if you find out a family member or child has a food allergy, there are plenty of stores in the central Illinois area that offer substitutes. May is Food Allergy Awareness Month, and Spangler's nonprofit is hoping to receive donations of EpiPens for first responders' usage, along with making local restaurants allergy friendly. The Murray Baker Bridge will even be lit red on May 1st and 20th in honor of the month. Reporting in Peoria Heights, Sheridan Hertig, WMBD News.